Hello from Vermont. I've been having a hard time lately, the last few days, just feeling really disappointed and like, I'm setting goals and not achieving them. <laughs> setting out like, I'm gonna do a 20 and then not making it 20. Um, knowing I'm capable of that and not accomplishing that and like, who cares, <laughs> right? Like, who cares when I finish? Who cares? Um, as long as I'm having fun. But by being disappointed in myself, I'm also not having fun now either. And I'm ruining <laughs> Vermont for myself because Look at it. It's beautiful. It is so beautiful and I'm just ruining it for myself. <laughs> it's a lot of feelings of like, I should be doing better. I should do more miles. I should be doing a lot of things, a lot of shoulds. I think I'm just hitting a point in this hike where um, I thought I'd be better. I'm so far into the trail, I thought some of the things that I have issues with wouldn't be issues anymore and that's just not, it's just not true, and that's something I just have to work through. I have 500-ish miles to do that, so this trail's not over. I just hope I can learn some of those lessons before I get to Maine. That would be really great. <laughs> Sunset in Vermont. It's beautiful. We hiked almost 12 miles in about a little over four hours to catch a sunset on Killington. came up here because we wanted to see the 4,000 foot elevation mountain and the doors opened so we came in because they have flushing toilets and food. We made it to the top of Killington. 4,000 feet in the air. Feels good. Unexpected little trip. Came up here to see the peak, found toilets, found a gondola. I mean, what more could you ask for? I'm on the gondola, I'm holding on for dear life because the door is still open and I saw how fast these things move. And I think I made a bad decision. <laughs> I think I'm a little scared. <laughs> this is scary. I'm gonna throw it. Look how fast it's going. back up to hike. If you look out in the distance, you'll see my future. Mount Washington. Okay, we're leaving Killington and the gondola and the delis and we're hiking again. Boo. Headed to Rutland for the Yellow Deli. I'm home. I don't know how we keep doing this, but we found an art fair. Every time we go to town, we happen to find a carnival or festival or something. So we went to the art festival and I got a french fry painted on my face. And now we're going bowling. We just got finished bowling. We did played air hockey and pool, and now we're going back to the Yellow Deli to go, just go back to the Yellow Deli. <laughs> they locked the doors at 10, and we need to be in by 10. We did it. We left the Yellow Deli. Didn't get Vortex for another day. My pack is bigger than it's been for a very long time. This is about the size it was at Springer, and I actually, surprisingly, don't feel any different. It's just, 
and hit my head on it again. <laughs> and it feels different, but it's not, it doesn't feel heavier, so I'll take it. The AT only goes on the southern part of the long trail, but I miss it. The climbs were long, but they were nice and gradual and easy. Not this one. <laughs> this one goes straight up again. We're back on the AT, for sure. This is the trail, an aluminum ladder. Look at this guy hiding out from the rain. He knows what's up. Made it to the lookout and gonna go up and see what the view has to offer. Look way out in the horizon, they're really, really far away, but still really, really big mountains. Those are the White Mountains in New Hampshire, and I will be in those in no time. <laughs> you can't really see me, but I am outside. There are six of us out here on a hike looking for one of our friends. The guide camp went to get water at least two hours ago and he has not been back and it is dark and his pack is in the shelter but he's not here and I don't think he brought a headlamp or anything. Water was not a clear source, it was like an unmarked side trail with um, bushwhacking <laughs> and he hasn't come back so six of us are out looking for him. Good morning! We were out kind of late last night, um, so we didn't find him, but he did come back this morning. He told us that he it got dark, so he just curled up under a spruce tree, made a nest. So resourceful. I would have been a panicking mess all night, but no, he was just like great. He said he actually fell asleep and woke up, found the trail, and walked in and surprised all of us this morning, so... <laughs> Today, woke up and we are just like game planning. I started to go through, you know, we're crossing into New Hampshire now. And then um, after that is the Whites and then Southern Maine. Now you're in the 100 mile wilderness, things get easier again, but then it's over. And I cried. I cried when I said this because I realized just how little I have left to do. I was not ready for this journey to be over. I could hike the AT again. I could hike the PCT. I could hike any other long trail, but this experience, is ending and there will never be one like it. Wild blackberries. And now we have apples. A little better than the crab apples I ate yesterday. <laughs> Still sour though. <laughs> All of our stuff is out and drying after the tropical storm yesterday. We are gonna go jump in the river while we wait for a pizza to be delivered and all of our stuff is drying because we'll make it to Hanover eventually. It's fine. <laughs> Pizza arrived. I'm so happy. Get your free sawdust here. Free sawdust. <laughs> Apparently this is how you're supposed to go down hills to help your knees, but I just find it really funny. <laughs> I don't want to leave Vermont. Don't make me go. I don't want to.
under the cover of nightfall, we enter New Hampshire. <laughs> I can't believe it. We did it.